What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss setting up Telegram to get your HiveOS alerts and notifications. Alrighty guys, so as a home crypto miner, the worst thing in the world is not knowing when your rigs are rebooting, when they are having problems uh, hashing or mining, or when there's a GPU lost or missing and you're just not getting, and you don't know when you have a problem because you're not by your rigs, you're not at home, and you need these alerts in order to keep things up and running because hey, when things are down, you're not making money. So today we're gonna go over setting up Telegram. Now I know, whoa, hold the phone. Why are you using Telegram? Well, two reasons. First off, I need to know when my rigs are down. And second, the Discord bot does not currently work with HiveOS properly. I reached out to HiveOS several months ago. I haven't heard us any headway on that, but I did find that there is some issues with the Discord bot not working as intended. So if you guys are interested and they have gotten the Discord bot up and running by the time you're watching this video, check out the video card in the upper right hand corner and down below I get, do an entire setup for you guys and walk through on how to set up Discord alerts, especially if you're more comfortable with Discord. But let's set up Telegram because I've never done it and I literally just created an account. So what do you need to do to get started? Two things. Step one, go onto your phone, whether it is iPhone or whether it is Android, and when you go over there, you can go ahead and download the Telegram app. It's available on the iTunes store, on the Google Play store, download it. You can only have a Telegram uh, account if you have a phone number. So you will need to authenticate through your phone number. It takes 30 seconds to set up your Telegram account. Once you've done it, come back to the video and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so step two to get set up is you do need to go, what I'm doing, and I think it's worked really well because I'd love to get these alerts on my computer, is I've come out to the Telegram website, telegram.org, and there is a Telegram for PC. Download it. it go, it's a program for your computer. You'll get pop-up messages on your PC while you're working or doing things. So I downloaded it. It makes setting this up significantly easier, especially with copy and pasting, but download the app and go ahead and open it. Okay, once you open the Telegram app, it actually is gonna give you instructions to pull out your cell phone and scan a QR code. It takes two seconds, it's not super difficult. Go ahead and do that, you'll scan the QR code and then you'll see exactly what I'm seeing in Telegram, a blank slate with nothing on it. That's our next step and now you're caught up and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get now HiveOS set up with Telegram. So go ahead and log into your HiveOS account. Take a look at your farm, just like I am. In the top right hand corner, click on settings. Once you click on settings, scroll down to the notifications area and you'll see Telegram and Discord. Make sure Telegram has the line under it and it's selected and you'll see you are not subscribed. Click subscribe. Next, what you're gonna do is you're going to get a message here and it says, start a new chat with this bot. This is why having it on the PC works really well in this situation. It has a link you click on. So click the link. And it's going to bring a pop-up up that wants to connect to that Telegram app on your computer. This is why, once again, it's great to set this up on the PC once and you can be done. You can uninstall it from your PC when you're finished if you're interested. So click on Open Telegram Desktop. And now is going to go ahead and start a chat with the HiveBot. Look at the top right-hand corner, HiveBot. And at the bottom, it says Start. So click on Start. Awesome. So now we've gotten a message from the Telegram bot. Hello, hobbyists. First, you must set the authentication code in notification section on your profile page. So take that code and copy it. Now go back to our HiveOS page and right in the field next to Telegram now, enter the code. So we're gonna paste it in there and we're gonna click subscribe. It now is gonna ask us for a six digit HiveOS authentication code. If you don't have multi-factor authentication set up on your HiveOS, you're doing yourself a disservice. It takes five minutes to set up and it secures your account against anyone hacking it or messing with it. Okay, so I logged in. We're good to go there. That has been completed. We've gone ahead and done that process. Now that that's done, give it about two minutes. Okay, so two minutes have passed. Now what I want you to do is highlight right here where it tells you slash user and then your HiveOS name. 
the hobbyist miner. Copy it, go into your Hivebot chat and paste it. All right, great. So we've completed that there. So now give it about another two minutes or so. Got to be patient. It doesn't take long. It's a pretty quick process. After two minutes, I want you to refresh your Hive OS page. After you refresh your Hive OS page, you're going to see it says hobbyist subscribed. And under subscriptions, you actually can highlight over it. You can manage notification settings individually for each farm from your farm settings. Okay, great. So at the top left, click on farms, select your farm then go to settings. After you click settings, go ahead and scroll down and you're going to see now under telegram, all these different types of notifications that you can be alerted from. And at first you're going to want to check all of these off because you want to know everything, but eventually you're going to go, Oh my gosh, I get so many alerts with hive OS. So you'll be able to come in here and critique these based off the information you truly want to know. In my world, I want to know when a rig is rebooting, I want to know when a rig is not hashing and when a card is not available. So I'm going to leave all the default settings the way they are for now, and I'll come in and play with them. But give it five minutes for Telegram to go ahead and catch up, and then let's go ahead and do some tests. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So now let's go and test this. So go to your workers and find one of your workers. We're going to take the Colossus rig here, and I'm going to reboot this rig. And we're going to go ahead and see if our Telegram app goes ahead and alerts us that this rig has been rebooted. Alrighty, guys. So there it is. It took a little while, though. I'm not going to lie. It seems like that the Telegram app is definitely delayed when it comes down to like Hive OS. I guess I was expecting a little bit more real time, but some information is better than no information here. And it looks like that it did take some time. So if you guys are testing this out, just like me and following along, give it a few minutes to start getting those alerts. They aren't instant. I really wish they were, but that's okay. We'll take it. Well, guys, that's it for today. We're set up and good to go. We're getting the alerts on our computer within Telegram. We're getting the alerts on our cell phone within Telegram, which is great. I'm not going to use Telegram for anything else. That's it. We'll call it a day. Other than that, guys, hopefully this was helpful for you guys and you learned something today and got set up with the way that you wanted to. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.